Hi everyone, welcome back to Cycling Secrets. Today we're going to have a quick look at pedaling technique. And there's more to this than just making the cranks go around, though you'll be hard pressed to analyze what the pros are doing by watching them pedal. As with many things in endurance, it's about subtle differences that make a huge difference over time. So, first of all, here's the pedaling clock. This is a standard way of referring to the pedaling position, so we're all on the same page. Generally, what you're aiming for is a smooth pedaling stroke that pushes a crank around in a consistent manner. This means paying attention to the direction of the force that you're applying to the pedals. The circle is generally divided up into four sections. First, from 1 o'clock to 5 o'clock is the downstroke. No matter how you break this down, this is where most of the power is going to come from. It engages the largest muscles in your body, the thighs and the glutes. There's also body weight and gravity helping out. So no matter how smooth you get your pedaling, this is the power part. From 5 o'clock to 7 o'clock is a pullback. You'll be pulling your foot back to apply force through this part of the pedal stroke. The usual advice in this is it should feel like trying to wipe something unpleasant off your shoe. From 7 o'clock to 11 is a lift up as your leg lifts up through to the top of the pedal stroke. More about this later, but generally your leg should be lifting its own weight through the section, not being lifted by the opposite downstroke. And from 11 to 1 is the setup for the next stroke, with your foot kicking forward to the top of the downstroke. Your aim is to have all these sections blend smoothly and seamlessly into each other, and so applying consistent force to the direction of the stroke and maximizing efficiency, les souplesse as the French call it. We suggest that you, to get a good sense of the different quadrants that you spend some time isolating each one, just paying attention to the pullback for a few strokes for example, and then switching focus to the lift up. As you train your body to recognize how each of these movements feels, you can then integrate them into a cohesive whole. Just a quick word about ankling. Ankling is a pedaling technique that seeks to engage the quads at the front of the stroke and the muscles at the back of the thigh through the lift up to improve power and efficiency. As we see here, the heel comes down below the toe through the push down and up above it on the lift up. So, as you're lifting up, you're applying deliberate force, pulling the pedal up into the top of the stroke rather than just lightening the leg so it's lifting its own weight within this section. Depending on who you talk to, this is either a secret weapon or ultimately biomechanically unuseful. Certainly this technique improves power through the lift up and engages different muscles distributing the effort. The counter argument says that the metabolic cost of using these smaller weaker muscles in this way expends more energy than it produces. So good for power in short bursts but not for the long haul or endurance events. Ultimately, it will be up to your experience about how you use this technique. So, that should help. As with everything, bring your attention to it and you'll be able to improve. This is something to play with. Feel how using your pedal stroke differently feels. You'll likely adjust it for different conditions, such as climbing. One easy way to gauge how smooth your pedal stroke is, is spinning. See how high you can get your cadence before you start bouncing around on the seat, which is a sure sign that you're not pedaling the whole circle smoothly. Okay, until next time, have fun, and remember, whatever you want, let us know. Thanks again. Bye.